Now at six, Gaston County officials investing over six million dollars into the future of local youth. Joining us live from Quincy's ABC 27's Candace Blake in Kansas, what will that money go towards? Ava, Gaston County is set to build a new boys and girls club to help the youth with their academics and their future workforce success. Our youth are our future. Gaston County officials are making a big investment for kids who live in the area. A $6.7 million investment to be exact. The new youth investment program will go towards things such as tutors, reading coaches, a summer job program, and a new boys and girls club. They are our future doctors, they are our future lawyers, they are our future judges, they are our future teachers, they are our future county commissioners. We will not be in this place all of our lives. At some point, we have to make sure that we are investing in those who are to come behind us. Gaston County currently has 10% of its third grade students reading at a satisfactory reading level and 27% passed their reading exam. This is a four point decline from the 2021 scoring. Superintendent Elijah Key believes the new youth investment program will be a game changer when it comes to academics. It definitely will help move the bar quicker because once again, it's everybody now is pitching in to help. Uh, it's just not the school district by themselves and say, you know, that, that's the way we've operated in the past, saying the school district is responsible for the educating of kids. It's everybody. The, ent the entire village of Gaston County must come together to solve the issue. Only 27% of Gaston County students received a reading score of three out of five. A three is not proficient in the state of Florida, but only satisfactory. Studies have shown that boys and girls clubs being in communities help drive down crime rates. So we hope to have a state-of-the-art facility here in Gaston County to help reduce crime, give kids a safe, positive place to be, help with their education, career advancement. City officials do not have a build day yet, but they ask that the community show their support and donate. Live in Gaston County, Candace Blake, ABC 27.